Let's do a little more acoustic work. Let's try some E chord business, something like a... I've got an E chord here. I'm hitting the bass note and doing a down up. The alternate bass note is the fifth string repeat. And it, but these fingers are on the face of the guitar. They're kind of like sliding a little bit, but that keeps them anchored so they don't drift away. After E, you're probably going to go to A. You could walk up the scale to your A chord like this. That was a low E, second fret, F sharp, fourth fret, G sharp. That's. Then hit your A string, which will give you a few milliseconds to. Grab that chord, make sure to use middle ring pinky, not index middle ring. That's too crowded. Middle ring pinky feels better. All right, so here we go. E. On A, I'm hitting the bass note, which is A string down up and then the fourth string that's your alternate bass note once again I'm keeping my fingers on the face of the guitar so I'm not using my shoulder my elbow and hitting all kinds of stuff and if you want to take her back to E you're going to just reverse that little pattern. That's A, G sharp, F sharp, E. So I just walked it up to a B. This is more of a chromatic run, meaning all half steps. I'm gonna go G sharp, A, A sharp, middle finger will land on my root of my B7 chord. So that was again. That's why it's important to have index, middle, ring, and pinky all assigned to the first four frets. Make sure to think about that and spend some time getting that hardwired into your long-term memory so there's no, you don't want to tangle your fingers into a knot at that point. <laughs> Here we go. B7 is middle index ring pinky. You should know that. If you don't, here you go. Middle on the fifth string, index, fourth string, first fret, ring, third string, second fret, Pinky, first string, second fret. There, there's your B7. Kind of a weird shape. You need it though. Bass note is B on the fifth string, second fret. Now, here's where it gets kind of fun. Middle finger jumps over there to get your alternate F sharp on the fat strings, second fret. Then it's got to jump back. I'm hitting this, the A string, and the E string. Then I'm going to walk it back down. That was B, A, G sharp, F sharp, and E.
yeah, just messing around. Uh, I was just kind of changing it up as I felt improvising. That's kind of what I love to do is make stuff up on the fly. But I can learn stuff for real if I have to, if I'm threatened. But <laughs> anyhow, that's uh, just some uh, alternate bass note picking and strumming, trying to keep it steady. If you make a mistake, just keep going. Do it again and again. Practice it until you got it perfect, and then do it some more, and then play some gigs. <laughs>